scary surveillance video just released of a jewelry store robbery. What was most unusual, these two ruthless robbers, they're in disguise dressed as women. Local 10 News reporter Todd Tongan is live with the video the police really want you to see. Todd. It's some wild surveillance video, Lori, and even though these two guys tried to hide their identity, even pretending to switch genders, police believed that there may be some people out there that recognize their face or their voice from surveillance video from another store they hit. They hit this sub shop this morning, but this surveillance video is from a jewelry store they hit last Friday. Hello. What are you looking for, Ryan? The Broward Sheriff's Department believe these two men dressed like women are responsible for at least two robberies in the last week. This morning at 8.30, they robbed this sub shop and check cashing store in Pompano Beach. They're kind of shocked and they had a you know gun pointed at their head this morning. So. They had dresses on, they had wigs, they had base makeup, foundation. You know, from what my employees told me, it looked like women. They had gold teeth. They got away with a decent amount of money, yeah. BSO says it is the same dangerous duo caught on camera last Friday robbing class jewelers in Deerfield Beach. They hop the counter and push the manager to the ground and then drag her behind the counter. The other suspect holding the other clerk in a chokehold, they force the two into the back office. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Come back. The manager showed us cuts to her arm, but otherwise there were no injuries and she kept her cool. I think that, yeah, they would hurt me, but uh, frankly speaking, no, I, I did not scare you. After ransacking the display cases with their arms full, they try and get out, but the electronic the door. door lock has them trapped. Open the door! That is when one of them panics and runs to the back office. <laughs> Finally, they leave as an unknowing customer patiently waits to get into the shop. Take another look at the suspect without the hat in a wig. BSO wants to catch these guys in disguise before they hurt or kill someone. And that manager of the jewelry store told me that these guys got away with not thousands of dollars of jewelry and merchandise, but possibly hundreds of thousands of dollars. So police really want to catch up to these guys. They uh, try as they may to disguise themselves. Police believe that someone out there will recognize them and should call Broward County Crime Stoppers. In Pompano Beach, Todd Tong and Local 10 News.